It's Tipsy Tuesday at 383 Design Studio. Join our digital design guru for today's Adobe for Fashion quick tip. Lately, I've been getting a lot of questions about recoloring prints. Really easy to do in Illustrator and can be equally as easy in Photoshop using indexed color. Indexed color is such a great tool for not only creating production ready artwork, but it's also a really easy way for designers to reduce colors and create new colorways. Before you're able to index your print, make sure your print file is in RGB color mode. Next, go to Image, Mode, Indexed Color. Set the palette to Local Adaptive and set Forced and Dither to None. For number of colors, choose the number of colors it should be and preview the result. Most of the time, You'll need to add a few additional colors into the mix to achieve your desired end result. And the more painterly and blurred the artwork, the more additional colors you're likely to add. Now that your print is indexed, we can reduce the number of colors and recolor the print. Go back to the image menu, to mode, and this time choose color table. The color table shows all the colors that Photoshop's found in the print. You can reduce the number of colors by combining similar colors. For the print I'm using now, Photoshop found multiple colors for the black ground, but we only need one color. Click each box to show the color picker and to change the current color. I usually type in values to make sure each color I'm changing is the exact same color. And if you're uncertain about a color position, try changing it to a high contrast color first to determine where the color shows in the print. Once you've reduced your colors, convert the print back to RGB, then back to index color again. This time, the palette will default to exact, and you'll notice the number of colors has been reduced. And once your colors are reduced, recoloring is really easy. Go back to the color table, click on a color, and change it to your new color. You can even have your swatches palette open and sample colors from there. Once you're done, I always suggest converting the final print back to RGB for a smoother appearance, especially if you're presenting it on screen. This method has been so helpful for me when I've needed to quickly create colorways to show on my CADs. So that's your digital fashion tip for today. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe to our channel to see more videos like this one. Have a fabulous day and I'll see you on 7th Avenue.